Well, the Pop-Up Globe is the world's first full-scale temporary working replica of one of the greatest theatres in history, the Second Globe. It has been seen by 450,000 people in just two years, and it's back this summer with another exciting season. We welcome founder and artistic director, Dr. Miles Gregory, who is here to tell us all about it. Welcome. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Lovely to have you here. First up, before we get into uh, all about the Globe, tell us a little bit about you, your background and your career. Ah, well, I, I was uh, born in Wellington and I grew up in Auckland. Um, uh, but then when I was just 17, I went to the UK. My dad's English and uh, I spent 20 years living and working in the UK and I only came back to New Zealand a few years ago. And, w and while you're overseas, you trained, uh, you trained as a Shakespearean scholar. <laughs> what does that actually mean? What do you do? Uh, so when I was in the UK, I did a master's in uh, staging Shakespeare. I've always loved Shakespeare, particularly Shakespearean performance. And then I went and did um, a PhD in Shakespeare at Bristol University in Shakespeare in performance. Uh, and I also ran my own theatre company and founded a, the Bristol Shakespeare Festival and then ran a, a state subsidised theatre in the north of England for uh, three and a half years. So it was a busy time, all really Shakespeare, you know. So busy. Essentially what it means is that we can ask anything about Shakespeare and you'll be able to come back with an answer for us. Oh, maybe, maybe. So, so what gave you the idea to start the Pop-Up Globe in New Zealand? Uh, well, my uh, lovely wife and I have uh, three delightful children and my eldest uh, girl is called Nancy. And some years ago, I was reading Nancy, a pop-up storybook at bedtime. And one of the things that was in it was the original Globe Theatre. Uh, well, I, she wanted to go and see a replica of it. And I said, the nearest one is a very long way away and we wouldn't. But then I uh, thought, you know, a pop-up Globe. I, I like a challenge. Mm. I know that Shakespeare performed in a Globe-like space. You know, this, this great space is really exciting. And so uh, my wife and I talked for a long time and then we decided to have a go and 15 months later in 2016 we opened the first pop-up globe in Auckland and uh, 100,000 people came to see it. And it's been very successful. How hard was it to get it off the ground? It was extremely hard, mm. yeah, and involved a considerable amount of personal sacrifice and it's been an extraordinary journey ever since. I don't think it, we ever thought it would be as successful as it is. but. We're so pleased and proud that so many people have come to see the work there. Because the thing is about it, um, I've been long, have you been long? Yes, through? loved it. Is that it's quite a different theatre experience. Usually you're sitting in the theatre and you're watching the stage, whereas this, it's as it was, it's totally immersive, isn't it? And it's loud and there's things coming overhead, like there'll be a helicopter flying oh, yes. overhead. It's got to be incorporated. Yeah, look, it's a completely different experience. And I think that's why people who perhaps think they don't like Shakespeare or think they don't like theatre are really surprised when they come and see a show at Pop-Up Globe because you get what's happening and it's really exciting. The actors speak right to you. There's amazing fights. The shows aren't four hours long. You know, all our shows are just over two and a quarter hour, just two and a quarter hours long. But also we have a huge team here in Auckland at our headquarters who make all of our costumes. All of our beautiful Jacobean costumes are made from scratch. We have design teams, wardrobe teams, special effects. It's, it's a big team here in Auckland. We employ a lot of people. And we're delighted to, to make all that work available for New Zealand. And what do you think makes it so successful? Because the numbers have been huge, the reviews are always amazing. What, what do you think it is that's made it? I, I've thought about that for a long time and I, I think probably we, we have a lot of passion for what we do. We really love what we do and we want other people to love uh, the joy of Shakespeare too. And I think passion goes a long way. I yeah. think it does. Mm. So what? tell me a little bit about the season. Well this season uh, we have uh, four of Shakespeare's uh, most interesting works really. Um, they're all uh, somewhat controversial. They explore themes that are extremely relevant today. And those four plays are The Taming of the Shrew, which is the classic sort of Battle of the Sexes play. Uh, Richard III, a dark comedy about one man's uh, uh, stealing of power in, 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 uh, in England. Um, uh, some people will find parallels between Richard III and other political events, I imagine. <laughs> um, uh, we also have uh, Measure for Measure, which is a little known play, but one that is extremely relevant today. It's about a man's abuse of power sexually. Um, and finally, uh, we have Hamlet. Well, there, was there ever a better play written, really? Hamlet is uh, one of the most famous play in history. It's the first time we've tackled it, and we're very excited about it. Being a Shakespearean scholar, do you have a favourite piece of work? Uh, I, I do get asked this, and yeah. I, you know something? It's whatever I'm working on at the time. OK, good. So whatever I'm working on becomes my most favourite play ever, and then I move on to the next one. That becomes my favourite play, because I, I'm, I'll be directing Richard III, and even working on the script now, that is current. I mean, that is my favourite play ever at the moment. Exciting. You know? Now, just quickly, yeah. um, who are some of the actors involved? 
Uh, well, we haven't announced any casting Ooh, details, but okay. we always work with an amazing team of actors, both from New Zealand and around the world. Who are always keen to put their hand up because they want to be part of it. We have a very happy company, mm. and we're all about company and fellowship in our company and a, and a group of professionals working together, having a great time. And I think our audiences see that when they come and see the shows. Fabulous. Good work. Forward to it. Pop-Up Globe will throw open its doors on the 16th of November to present, as we mentioned, four of Shakespeare's masterpieces. You can check out the Pop-Up Globe website for ticket, ticket details. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been a pleasure. Yes, thank you. Have a great season, and you must head along if you get the chance. It's definitely an experience. <laughs>